<laughs> Where's the little volume button? Let's see. Hey, welcome back to the bench, guys and girls. Hard drive. Lordsburg, New Mexico, southwest corner. It's been a little while, but uh, I ran out of some stuff, and we got some more in stock. This should last this week, and I got another 70 on order, which will be here quick. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to try to couple, cover a couple of different things here. Yeah, I'm way behind. New stuff's going to go out first. This one's been here forever. I'm going to get it out and uh, show a couple things with it, too. You know, just PMing the shit out of me isn't going to get your shit done any quicker. It really ain't. You really don't want to do that. PM me, you know, and I will get to you. I promise you I will get to you. I'm trying to get everything done as fast as possible. Doing it correctly isn't no five-minute project. So anyways, this radio. It was originally sold brand new here. It was a beautiful radio. Awesome radio. But I guess the guy got in it and touched it. You know, took the screws out. Don't take the screws out of one of our radios. When it's done, it's done. There's nothing you're going to be able to do to it besides jack it up. It says uh, Striker 955, Dave CB radio. Go over it. Make sure nothing's screwed up. This radio for setup with 8 pill and blah blah. Well, I just talked to the gentleman, and if this thing's just going to run barefoot. It's back here also for the Palomar. Uh, matched pair and uh, max mod. We're going to go over a couple different things with it. You, know, you shouldn't open them up, try to turn it down, do this, do that with an amp because you can't. You think you can? No, you can't. You just screw shit up, is all you do. Meter jacked up, meter beater wise. And also, soldering abilities. Don't try to solder if you don't know how to solder. This thing needs a new SO239 now because this individual solder globbed, you know, the conductor of the coax and spread apart the pins. Hold on, let's see. They jacked it all up. So the customer that owns it now is like, yeah, it doesn't work all the time. It receives kind of strange. It's going to be hard to see in the camera. But it's spread apart. And you can see like it's scratched and marred. You know, you don't sit there and plug shit in and out of it all day long. Especially if it's some junk coax or some Yahoo side of the enzyme. I've got plenty of videos covering that topic. Just go to my channel, look it up. If you don't know how to solder, find someone that does. And if you think you know how to solder, find someone that does. Otherwise, you know, you start blowing your shit up, wondering what's going on, etc. Alright, let's take a closer look. Right, see? There we go. So now this one is turned down. It's, it's doing like 9 watts. It's not bad. Okay? This, this one goes back before the Palomar transistors, before MaxMod, when these things were just like total dirt bags. And yeah, we got it this clean. But I'm gonna show you how clean it really isn't. More and more videos have been called to my attention about these schemers and scammers out there, so. Save this video if you don't have time. Come back to it later, just kick back and watch. So this one was probably turned down to try to match to an amplifier. That's a full power. Yeah, is that going to stay? Yeah, so 239 is screwed up. So I can't get it on an angle, it'll stay connected. Nope, I don't want to blow it up either. Always make sure that everything is in plain sight. It's the only form of integrity of any radio shop you're going to find. And a real bench. Oh, let me not forget. Without this, 
there's no integrity. There's no, there isn't one reputable shop in this country that can't show you this. They're reputable, and they got it. They'll show you how they tune the bench every step of the way. They won't say it. They'll show you. Otherwise, you may as well just do it yourself with a screwdriver, you know. Go online, look up some clip and snip or tune and peek, and just do it yourself. Don't send it here when you're done, but just save your money and do it yourself. Alright. This gentleman turned this one down. Probably try to match an amp, not knowing what else could possibly occur. You see the uh, out of band? See how everything changes? Let me go a little bit deeper on this now. If you've been watching my videos, and I urge you to watch my videos because I don't answer questions, I'm not going to. Everything that you need to know is in my videos. It's up to you to spend your time. All your time. It doesn't matter to me. Your time, not mine. Watch the videos. And let's see. We're going to go direct. This is a nice new... Hopefully this will tighten up on here nicely. So we can't wiggle it around to get it on there. And that's uh, just... You know, I man, I've been seeing this shit for so over close to 40 years. Same shit, goobered up, solder joints, can solder, shitty soldering abilities. Just because you can solder a solder a pipe doesn't mean you should work on people's shit. All right, really, you cause so much damage just with the jumpers. The jumpers, the, the soldering abilities are extremely critical. Do I? trust any store-bought? No, I don't. Now with high dollar radio equipment. Right, so let's see if she'll key. Oh yeah, by the way, as you can see, 100 watt continuous. My other one, my 8920A. I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do. It's going to be a couple of grand to do what I want to do. Like another 100 continuous to where I don't even have to use this. Which... You guys should really study what this is and what this is. Not some bullshit homemade. Now, if you're doing stuff at home, experimenting with your own stuff, that's cool. Just don't talk on the airwaves. But if you're doing this commercially, you got to know how everything is put together, assembled. They need to show you how they solder every joint. Show you the certification, the calibration for everything every part and piece or like I said you might as well do it yourself with a screwdriver so this one is a hundred continuous the other one I'm probably gonna do the same thing or possibly even more but I'm doing some research on that you're gonna see why here in a minute you know a lot of people have been sending me hey, you know these emails hard drive look at this guy look at this guy what do you think of this guy look at this asshole you know type of shit I don't have time for that I really don't that's why I, pr I produce these videos but there are some real screwballs out there. Really. Screwdriver, jockey, you know, radio romper room is what it's like anymore. Hold on. Now, do you see a difference? I'm going to turn this down a little bit. See, it's not hiding anything now. So there's, you know, reference level 45 BBM. But as we increase, now we can see everything. Let me give it some more power. All right. Turn it down some. Like I said before, you know, we got some real scumbags out there trying to hide things. Looks good, don't it? But it's, I have it down now, it's at 45 reference level. So everything that, that far down isn't even seen. Can't see it. But if we uh, open this thing up a little bit, this would be like 
I don't know, uh, an amplifier at 25 dB. That would be the harmonics of the radio going into an amplifier, and that's what it would look like. So the radio, okay, you got to have a clean radio. You can't blame it on the amplifier. This is clean. And this is going to be a lot cleaner when it's done. We're going to get this one done today, possibly do a finished video of it. But I hope you're catching on. you got to watch these. They're, they're slippery. Some of them actually think they know what they're doing. At least that's giving, giving them the benefit of the doubt. All right. While we're on this, let's uh, check the receive on this radio. Oh, and by the way, the lower you go, the more accurate it is. All their actual service test equipment, you know, it's, it's 10 dB sign ed, and you go by basically what the radio manufacturer stipulates. And if it's lower, it's always better. The higher, well, anybody can do that. So at 10 dB on this one, sign ed, or down like 115. 116, 115. At 12, or 113. I know some others are even trying to copy how I do my videos. Hilarious. The real deal. That's some made up shit, you know what I mean? So the receive, we're not going to touch the receive. I might recheck it again because there's no way this, this person could have got in there unless he tried to unsolder the shields and uh, done anything to it. But you know what? While we're here, let's take a look inside. Let's see what's going on. And again, when the radio's done, there's no need to ever take the screws out. When you're on the top of the ball, there's only one direction. So if you think you can get into one of my radios and make an adjustment, it's going to go downhill no matter what you do. It is downhill, less power. You're not going to have the same range anymore, the same clarity. And whatever you do, don't touch the receiver. Let's take a quick peek. Good one, Jason. It doesn't appear that the shields have been unsoldered, which is a good thing. Probably just the power. I can actually check the gate voltage just for the biasing, etc. But this definitely has to be replaced. There is going to be no more pinching, you know, the SO239 together so it makes connection. That's ridiculous that we have to change that, but that's poor soldering skills that does that. And blows up radios, amplifiers, etc. The rest looks just fine. Alright. Y'all stay tuned in. You know what it is. I'm not really ignoring anyone on Facebook. I see your request and I appreciate it. I do. 
but I have a lot to get done right now. I'll be in touch with a lot of people requesting new radio sales. I've already done all that fixing everybody's shit. Twenty over twenty years of twenty years ago. It's the most obvious thing on the planet or in the United States. Who does the tuning? It's what we do. If you're already an existing customer, a proven good customer, you can get in touch with me on sending in some, you know, radios for repair, etc. But uh, just to send radios in for repair, all hacked up stuff, I just don't have time for it. You want to purchase new? You know who it is. 163 Southwest New Mexico. We're clear. Click, click. I'll find that button.